Good evening, friends, respected members. Good evening. Another favorable judgment from Honorable High Court of Madras pertaining to input tax credit. The final conclusion from the Honorable High Court is if we satisfy the three conditions one, two, three, you are eligible for the input tax credit. For this, they have taken some clue from the Honorable Supreme Court judgment. In the case of CC, Commission of Central Excess versus Dai Ilachi Parkaria Limited. Basing on this Supreme Court judgment, uh, the Honorable Metas High Court framed three conditions, popularly known as uh, first one is transfer of title, second one is payment to the vendor, and third one is transfer of possession. If the buyer satisfies all the three conditions, he is certainly eligible for the input tax credit. For this, the first condition is, uh, as explained earlier, the transfer of title validated by a proper invoice. This is the first condition imposed by the Honorable High Court. That is transfer of title validated by a proper invoice. And second one is payment to the vendor. This must be through any legitimate means. That uh, other words, in other words, it is through banking channel, either check, DD, RTGS, NAPT, phone pay, etc., etc., through any legitimate means. This is the second condition, payment to the vendor. It must be proved through legitimate means. And the final condition, third one is transfer of possession. This must be evidenced by an e waiver. So if we satisfy all three conditions, I will explain once again. Transfer of title, validated by a proper invoice, payment to the vendor through any legitimate means and a transfer of possession evidenced by an e bill. If we satisfy all the all the three conditions, you are eligible for the input tax credit very, very certainly. For this, uh, the reference got from the Supreme, Honorable Supreme Court judgment in the case of CCE versus Dialogy Karkaria Limited. So finally, though judgment pertaining to erstwhile Tamil Nadu VAT Act, the input tax conditions, stipulations, procedures, everything more or less common under Central Excess Act, Service Tax Act, VAT Act, and now under GST Act. Finally, the conclusion is don't put any pressure for seller's payment, for seller's payment to claim the input tax credit. This is the final conclusion from the uh, Honorable High Court. ITC should not be denied due to seller's failure to remit the tax. ITC should not be denied due to seller's failure to remit the tax. Conclusion is if we satisfy all the three, if the dealer satisfied all the three conditions, uh, as I explained earlier, the dealer is certainly eligible for input. So reported in Tax Guru website in the case of Sakyadri Industries uh, Unit versus State of Tamil Nadu, judgment pertaining to Tamil Nadu VAT Act. Though it is pertaining to VAT Act, you know, we can get some clue and we can strengthen our case to claim the input tax credit and to give suggestion to our clients and dealers also can rely on the judgment to protect their legitimate input tax credit. Kindly go through Tax Guru website and frame your own opinion accordingly. Thank you. Namaste.